Hey guys, Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns. This is my next grip review, and I told you guys last time this one will fill your tank. Well, that's because it's on the Air Venturi Personal Compressor. And I do have the JTS um, compressor over here as well, but which one is my go-to compressor? The Air Venturi for sure. Why? Let's find out. Really quick, I want to say thank you to Gateway to Airguns for making this video possible. Go check them out, guys, www.gatewaytoairguns.org, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. So this one is actually my second one. I had one previously exactly like this one for three years, no problems. Hey guys, Airgun Angie, I've got my Air Venturi air compressor until the crankshaft broke, which is so not normal. So it was definitely an out of the norm failure. So they sent me a new one. We sent them a picture of what had happened. They sent me a new compressor. So this one is only a couple months old and I absolutely love my Air Venturi personal compressor. And I shoot a lot, so I require a lot of air. Some steel. <laughs> me personally and my guns. So <laughs> um, what Ooh. can we do with this? Well, it fills anywhere from uh, 90 cubic inch tanks, this is 100 cubic inch, all the way up to 88 cubic foot tanks, and that's huge. Well, there we go, guys. So turn the compressor off. I'm going to make sure you close your tank before you open the release valve, otherwise, you will lose all put you put in your tank. All right, so that's done. And now we're gonna release this valve right here. And I have ear pro in because this part right here is what I believe is the loudest. And we're gonna find out because I have my DD monitor on right now. The max reading when I bled the air out of the system was 122.8. So it gets pretty loud when you open that bleed valve. system off. Take my ear pro out. A larger tank is going to take much more time. So make sure you let your compressor rest 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes cut it off, let it rest for five. Turn it back on for 15 minutes again, cut it off and let it rest for five. You don't want the temperature to get too hot and you don't want to wear your air compressor out. Oh, I should disconnect this hose too. Okay, that's disconnected, and I'll take my male-to-male -male fitting off of there. Now I have a full bottle. Now this is capable of filling guns, um, just as the smaller compressors are capable of filling guns, but as far as filling bottles with this, yes, it's possible. Um, if you take frequent breaks, it's gonna take a while, and there is more of a chance of burning them up faster, so they won't last very long. So if you're gonna fill bottles, the Air Venturi compressor is the way to go. If you don't have bottles, then pick a smaller compressor, but this one, I absolutely love. I shoot a lot. If you're one that shoots a lot like me, that's probably going to be your best friend. It has an internal water cooling system, so it's not some, you don't have to have a bucket with a tube running into it. It's in the compressor. It is lubricated by oil. There is a temperature gauge that you do not want it to go past 95 degrees Celsius. This is, this is Celsius readings. If it does for some reason reach 95 degrees Celsius, it does have an automatic safety cutoff. If you see that it hasn't cut off and it's at 95 degrees Celsius, turn it off immediately. It has the pressure gauge where you can set it for whatever pressure you want. This fills to 4,500 PSI. Maybe. Well, this gun fills to 4,500 PSI. There's other guns that fill to 3,000 PSI. You can set it for that pressure, and when it reaches that pressure, it automatically shuts off. 
That doesn't mean you can leave the compressor unattended. I definitely would not do that. You need to be there to monitor it, make sure the temperature's not gotten too hot, make sure the automatic shutoff is working. Just check the air every once in a while to make sure it hasn't gone over because you do not want to overfill tanks. That is definitely dangerous. Um, it plugs into a 110 volt outlet, which most homes and shops are equipped with. You don't need to do any extra electrical work to be able to use it. This compressor you can use for PCPs, carbon fiber tanks, for airsoft and for paintball. So it's not just for PCPs. It has an easy, easily visible oil window. The things that are included with the Air Venturi compressor, of course, you have your high pressure output braided hose that comes with it with a female fitting. It has a single male adapter or your male to male adapter. It also comes with a plug um, for the end of your hose. It goes just like this if you want to test your compressor and make sure it's building up air like it should be. If you want to check the amount of air you have on a bottle, you can also use these on the bottles as well. It comes with an Allen wrench. Now this is specifically to change out the filter. That's what this tool is for. You may be better off just getting your own wrench, which that's what I found. And it comes, it is include um, one, your very, very first air filter replacement. Um, after that, you'll have to get them on your own. It has lots of O-rings, gaskets, looks like a fuse, a couple springs, um, little plastic pieces in there. Of course, the manual, which you guys should read thoroughly. It's not that long and it's not, a lot of reading really has a lot of pictures um, so no excuses guys read the manual super super important if you want it to last I think that's about it for as far as parts that it comes with of course it comes with the plug you're gonna need that for sure um, now let's talk maintenance okay so the maintenance that you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to check the water. Make sure the water stays at an appropriate level and make sure you use distilled water. Do not use anything else, only distilled water. If you use anything else, you're gonna have gunk building up in the tubes, which is gonna clog it up and it's not gonna be able to cool the system like it should. Yeah, the next thing is you're gonna to need to change the oil. Air Venturi compressor oil is what is recommended. Um, Basically, any 100 ISO oil will work, but this is Air Venturi. That's an Air Venturi compressor, so of course they're compatible, right? So definitely need to put oil in it. There is a fill line. Don't go past that fill line and don't go under that fill line. The very first oil change when you get it should be either one month or 25 hours, whichever comes first. After that, you can do every three months or 50 hours. Make sure you stay on top of that so your compressor stays well lubed and operates like it should. The next thing is the air filter. The air filter, which is right here, all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew these screws right here. Take this cover off and you can access the filter right here. There is a um, cap right here that you would twist off. You access the filter right there. You pull it out and you put a new one in. Make sure you lube the O-ring that is on the cap on the inside of the um, filter tube. Don't forget to do that. Make sure you loop that o-ring. It's pretty low maintenance. It's easy to use. Even I can use it. So if I can use it, I know you guys can. If I can maintain it, I know you guys can. I really love my Air Venturi compressor. It um, helps me to get air. It fills my tanks for real. I guess that's it guys. Um, just a quick overview of the compressor um, pros and cons. Um, it's for bottles from 90 cubic inches all the way up to 88 cubic feet. Yes, it's going to take longer to fill an 88 cubic foot tank, but it's still possible with the Air Venturi compressor. So that is absolutely sweet. Oh, and I didn't even mention the price. It's about $1,400 depending on where you buy it from. It varies from $1,399 up to $1,600. But a compressor that's lasted me three years and probably would have lasted me longer had it not had that odd failure, the crankshaft breaking. Um, that's not a bad spend. I was going to town, which is an hour drive there and an hour drive back. My car's a gas guzzler. It's a Yukon. So um, just put, do the math, $1,300 over the span of three years. And I shoot a lot. So I would have to go to town at least once or twice a week. It's definitely paid for itself. 
and plus the $15, $20 fee to fill the bottle, it has definitely paid for itself. The one thing, I guess the only con that I could really come up with for the Air Venturi compressor is it's a little heavy. It's 76 pounds. That's a little heavy. You're not just going to go tote that outside and plug it in. As far as dimensions, we did not do that. Let's definitely take a look at that. Okay, so from the table to the top of the compressor, 17 inches. Now let's do the width. That is 18 inches, uh, about 18 and a quarter. And then from back to front, I'll see how I can get this to where you guys can see, see it possibly. All right, back to front, 16 and a quarter. So 16 and a quarter back to front. I don't carry it by myself very far. I, it's 76 pounds, guys, so no, I'm, that is not what I would consider a portable compressor. That's a portable compressor. That is not, but that's the only con, but it's not meant to be a portable compressor. It's meant to be in my shop, like it is, so I can fill my bottles and then take my bottles out into the field and fill my guns. Well guys, I guess that is pretty much all the information that I have that I can give you on the Air Venturi personal compressor. Go to Gateway to Air Guns, check out the video. It has so much information for amateurs, for professionals, I mean just, from every spectrum of air, the air gunning world, Gateway to Air Guns has it. You can get on there and interact with other air gunners, um, experts and beginners and PCP lovers, Springer lovers, just everyone. Everyone is on there interacting, giving information, receiving information. So get on there and join them, guys. Again, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. If you guys are interested in any of the products in this video, go check out the links in the description. If you're not, I have another grip review coming up and maybe it will force you to take a look. I'm Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. Hey guys, Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns, and this is my next rip, rip review. No. If you guys like the products in this video and are interested in them, go check the links out in the description. If you guys like the products in this video and want to check them out, check out the, 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 the.